Hi there, I'm Drew. I'm a sponsored amateur disc golfer in the Peoria, Illinois area, and this is going to be the review of the ninth annual Illinois Amateur Championship. So we're out here right before Illinois Ams playing the 27 hole layout for Northwood blue and black. I'm out here practicing, just trying to get my arm warmed up, make sure that I play the safe shot and uh, I'm able to play smart. Recently, I feel like I've been losing strokes to the field because I just don't play smart. I don't play my game, I don't play what's good um, and I take risks more than I should. So here I'm going to play safe and we'll see how it goes. It's good to be out here to practice. A couple things I'm worried about. I'm worried about circle one putting. I used to be really good at that, but recently I feel like it hasn't been coming through like it has. But on the other side, I feel like my driving has been really good. So I'm hoping that carries me a little bit more in this tournament, especially with me having the privilege to play a lot of these courses before it's tournament time. So as you saw in the first couple clips, I'm worried about my circle one putting, but I'm feeling really good on my drives. So I'm going into this tournament with a strong mental game, keeping my head on straight. So going into the tournament, I knew that there were going to be three rounds. Two of them were going to be on Saturday as a shotgun start, one right after the other. And then there's going to be one on Sunday, which is going to be a tee time. And then the tee time is going to be determined, the order is going to be determined based on how you did the first two rounds. So I know Plastic Addicts was the tournament host, uh, was sponsored by Dynamic Discs, but I was excited to play in this tournament, one, because there were going to be 72 people in the intermediate division, but also there was an amazing player pack. There was a commander bag, a disc, Zing Minis, socks, and then there was also a voucher for something at the, or a percentage off at the Plastic Addicts store. Uh, it was going to be played on two really good courses, challenging and fun. And then it was also going to be, like I said, a lot of people there. There were 330 people at the time. So I know that it's going. it was going to be a fun tournament, a lot of competition, and I was excited to play in it. See how I stacked up against the competition around the area. So uh, the first round was played at McNaughton, and we played the short tees. Uh, and the short baskets. Uh, from there, it was very, very windy that day. It was sustained 20 mile per hour wind with 30 to 35 mile per hour gusts. So we are going to be playing pretty tough because there are some holes that are very wooded that stay away from the wind, but there are others that are pretty open and can affect your disc a lot with the wind. So I'm going to be, so I got put on a card with. Armando Nieves, uh, Josh Lindsay, and Ken Bremer. Uh, I had never met Josh and Ken before, but Armando, he comes to Peoria League. I see him all the time. He's a great guy to be around, and I'm super happy to be on this card because he's going to lighten the mood. So going into that card, I was excited. We started on hole 11, which is a tight tunnel hole, and... I'm not looking to birdie. I'm trying to play the safe play. So I'm just trying to get something down there to where I can put my second shot underneath the basket. I do that, starting off good, hole 12. I get into some rough on the left side, but I make a really good approach shot and I'm able to get a par on that one too. So I'm starting to feel good. 13, I actually take my drive and I throw it a little bit too far to the left and it goes into the woods and I wasn't able to get up and down for my par. So I take a bogey. So. Going into 13, 14, uh, 14, 15, and 16, those were three holes that I know are probably going to be the three hardest holes on the course, and I'm just trying to get through them, and I did. That includes an amazing shot that I had on hole 16 that flipped up and just rode straight and then kind of rode the green bushes on the right side of the fairway, but it didn't go out of bounds, and I felt really good about that. Uh, going through the rest of the tournament, the rest of the holes, I wasn't feeling super good with my putting, and it didn't, and it showed. I missed several putts, including one for par from 15 feet. It wasn't very good, but 
it is what it is and i ended up finishing the round plus three which put me into 34th place uh going into round two um ken and josh were also just a great card to be on they were both uh, they were both really good kept their heads level and i didn't think that the attitude of the card brought anyone down which was really good our second round was going to be the northwood black shorts and i was going to be playing with uh, marcus coleman tim briggs and brandon peterson all three of them are amazing i had never met brandon up until this point but i had actually met tim and marcus before this tournament because I had played on the same card as them in a different tournament. Both separate tournaments. One was earlier this year and one was uh, last October. Both of them are good guys and I know they can uh, shoot some really good rounds. So I was excited to play with them and they both had great attitudes the entire time. Uh, Brandon was also amazing. He just, I felt like he just never stopped smiling. Even when he threw a bad shot, he would just give a little like smirk, but he would always be in a good attitude and I can appreciate that. Um, as far as the round goes, uh, I started with a great birdie on hole 11, uh, but then I missed a par putt on hole 12, uh, for par, which was hard because it was 15 feet, putted it, hit the cage. I, I want to say it was the wind, but it, it was too close for it to be the wind. It was bad, but I came back and I birdied hole 14. And if you've never played Northwood black, hole 14 is uh, a very tight tunnel, but also has an L in the in the fairway. Not only that, but the right side of the fairway has trees, but not enough trees to block the wind. And the other side of those trees, there's a huge field, which the wind was coming from. So the wind was blowing over the field, through the trees, and just through the fairway. It was wreaking havoc. But somehow, I managed to get a birdie on that. I got it in four. It was a par five. And that was a real momentum booster going through the rest of the round, um, which led me to getting uh, a only plus two through holes 12, 13, 14, and 15, which were probably the four hardest holes on the course. So getting through those four holes as plus two was a really good feeling. Um, I, I birdied four holes, uh, or I birdied hole four, and six, which allowed me to feel really good. Um, but the last four holes of the course, which would have been seven, eight, nine, ten, I took plus five over the course of those four, which included a triple bogey on hole eight, which was just it ate my lunch, didn't do well. But overall, I shot a plus six, which left me in 15th place at the end of that round. Uh, going into the last round, I played with uh, Brennan Begner. Colby McIntyre and Bryce Bowling. Um, Brendan, I had played with before. He can shoot some really hot rounds. He's a really good disc golfer. So I knew that uh, I would. I was trying to keep up with him. Um, Colby and Bryce also were just great to be on the same card with. Uh, uh, Colby liked to listen to uh, jazz music while he was playing, so it was interesting just to like. Um, see him play and then just listen to his listen to the jazz music but he was so funny and great to be around I was really glad that he was on our card and then Bryce Bowling was actually or is actually a part of the Navy and he's also a musician in the Navy and he's sponsored by Prodigy so <laughs> he's just he was all around good to be around he was a great to, he was also really funny, and the four of us just had a really good time on our last day, even though it was a, like a six and a half hour round because we played 27 holes. It was crazy. Uh, but he was, um, they were both really fun to play with. And starting the round, we all were in good, good spirits, had some uh, good fun. And going through the first five holes, we then had a 30 minute rain delay, which I think. Uh, made the or it did make the whole course a little bit wetter and muddier, which I think could have played a role in how um, the rounds went. But it was short. Uh, we were able to be, we were on a hole that was very close to the cars, so we were able to make it to the cars quickly and not have to 
run or walk across the course in the rain, we were able to get there pretty, pretty fast. Um, but after the rain delay, I had a 11 hole par train. So I had 11 pars in a row. It's the train of pars. And from there, I took a couple more bogeys. But once we got out of the black holes and went into the blue holes, um, I was able to get some birdies again. I got one on 16, a uh, couple back on the black holes. I think I got 11 and 10. I was able to get some birdies on. So those were really good. Felt good. Um, and the best birdie of the day was hole, um, was hole 15. I was able to get a birdie on that. And that was crazy. Was it 15? It was black. It was black 15. Yeah. Um, but then I took a double bogey on black 16, which was really demoralizing, but I kept my round strong. Um, and I was able to finish the entire round at a plus two, which was actually the third hottest round out of everybody in our division. So that was really good. And that put me from 15th to sixth, uh, that last round was due to my mental game and playing the safer shot rather than going for something super aggressive. There would be times where it's like, oh, I can pin this. Well, you don't need to pin this if you can put it within 15 feet and try to go for that putt and then not risk hitting a tree and kicking it out so that you're 35 feet and going to be lining up. But I think the, one of the best things about this tournament was just the people that I played with. Everybody that I played with and that I mentioned was great. I would play on the same cards them at any tournament. Uh, it was fun to be there, fun to meet some new people. And I'm excited to play my next tournament. It's going to be May 13th through the 15th uh, up in Davenport. And it's going to be the Rumble. I'm excited to play and go shoot some good rounds yet again.